Welcome to another video. In this video, we will create a sunset and sunrise automation for backyard lights. In the 2024.1 updates to Home Assistant, it is now easier to create simple automation as this from GUI, because the description and automation editor for each section is now clearly written. There is also a building block sections, which allow you to add logical elements to your automation or scripts, like AND, OR, IF THEN, CHOOSE. Not test if a condition is not true. Or test if any condition is true. There is another building block in action then do section. You can use choose, condition, define variable, if then, repeat, run in parallel, stop, wait for a template, wait for a trigger, delay etc. building block from the section. In this video, we will be using the choose building block for choosing between sunrise and sunset trigger IDs. Let's start the automation. First, add our first trigger, by clicking add trigger. Type sun to search for the sun trigger, and click to select it. Our first trigger will be sunrise, which is selected by default. Let's add a plus 30 minute offset to our trigger, which means it will be triggered 30 minutes after sunrise. Did you notice that we made a mistake here, please comment below, what mistake was made here. Next, we will add a trigger ID, which is important for our automation, you can do this by clicking the three dots menu and selecting added ID. In this case, this trigger ID will be named as sunrise. Let's add another sun trigger. Click add trigger. Select time and location and then select sun trigger. Now we will use the sunset as the trigger and will set minus 15 minutes as the offset time, which means this will trigger 15 minutes before the sunset. Again we made a mistake here, point out the mistake in comments below. Select the three dots menu and click edit ID to add trigger ID. In this case, it will be named as sunset, you can use any friendly name as the trigger ID. Let's collapse both triggers. Now we will use a choose add building block. Click add building block from the action section. Select choose. Click option 1 and add a condition, click other conditions, then select triggered by. For turning on the lights, we will use the sunset 15 minute trigger ID. Select it by clicking it. For the actual turning on action, select add action and browse for light and choose turn on. This action can turn on one or more lights and adjust properties of the light, even when they are turned on already. Select choose entity. Select your light entity, which you want to turn on with the sunset trigger. I will choose the backyard light as the target light. Collapse actions and conditions, and check whether you choose the correct options before collapsing option 1. Double check all conditions and actions. Now click add options and repeat the process. Click add condition. Click other conditions then select triggered by. Now we will choose sunrise as the trigger to turn off the light. Select add action and choose light from the menu. Now select light turn off, this can be used to turn off one or more lights. Click choose entity and search for your light. In our case, it is backyard light. Collapse actions and conditions and check whether you choose the correct options before collapsing option. Double check all conditions and actions. Click save and choose a friendly name for your automation. Now this will throw an error due to the wrong time format used in our triggers. To fix this we will choose the correct time format and triggers, that is In sunrise's case, it will be plus 030, which is 30 minutes after sunrise. At sunset, it will be negative 0 15 minutes. Click save to save the automation for one final time. Now you can check the automation at sunrise and sunset. Happy automating.